find out. All right. Uh, welcome back to Whiskey Buds. I'm Kurt. I'm Billy. And we are with another one of our blind tastings, aren't we? Oh, boy. Yeah. Can you remind me what these are? Uh, they're all bourbons except for this one. Ace is high. Yeah. That we tried just like a couple episodes ago. Mm-hmm. Don't remember. No? It was <laughs> it was the one from Colorado. Pretty simple. We were talking about you drinking it with some ginger beer. Oh. Yeah. Devil's Cut. Devil's Cut. If you know that one. <laughs> so it is one of those that I tried to pick some that are a little bit closer because we could have used that uh, Remus Repeal Reserve. Do you remember that one? Let me just pull it out here. But that one had a higher proof, you mm -hmm. know, at 50%. Mm -hmm. And so and it's a little more bold than these ones were, except for this one. This one should be easier to pick out. but So it's going to be probably the oddball, but... I didn't think it was nearly as strong as that one. So I thought these will keep it closer so it'll be a little more difficult to, to distinguish because we're so good at picking out all the little subtle nuances. I'm going to be interested to see if one of these tastes like sweat. Fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because actually why I threw it in there. I, I, was, I was like, oh, I remember him. If one of these tastes like sweat, this. then I'm yeah. right about that one. <laughs> We'll find out if he picks it out, and that's the only one he gets right. And he's like, "Yeah, that's it." Is this a sweet one? Um, not really. It was a little bit sweet, but it had that little flavor in the back of it that you were trying to Is this distinguish. This one that I thought had like a little bit of apple or pear in it. Or I think so. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna own this taste test. See, he's like, "Man, I got the one that I know that Fruity, tastes sweaty like sweaty and and that one." <laughs> yeah, and, and bolder. Like I, I really do expect this one to stand out more, but we didn't have anything recently that was more mild to, to pair up with these. And then these two are both bourbons and this is an American whiskey. So I figure they should be hopefully close enough. I forget what that one is. That's the, where they extract the whiskey from the walls of the yeah, barrel. So it should be pretty flavorful, right? Yeah. Okay. I think I got this. Let's yeah. try it. All right. Number three. Number three. Number one. No. <laughs> Three. It's pretty strong scented. I think that might be the sweat one. Really? No, no, no. I'm thinking it might be Devil's Cut. Yeah. Hmm. This one might be Aces High or the sweat. My nose is, I think I just cross-contaminated. <laughs> you like too many at the same time. One in each nostril? All right, I kind of think that I've, just based on scent, which we have already determined that I'm not very good with, I think this is the order they go in. Three, two, and one. One, two, and three. Or no, three. Uh, this one. I'm thinking might be this one, and then this one. So yeah, two, three, one, maybe. All right. What'd you that say? one's not smelling nearly as strong as it did just a minute ago. Did you say two three one? Yeah. I got three two one right now. Wait, which one is which up here? One. We don't know yet. Three. Yeah, that would be oh. three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, right. If we're gonna if we're gonna line them up, right? I didn't, I didn't bring my left brain to right. This tonight. is gonna be yeah. All right, tasting. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking three is that one. I think so. I think I think it was the first one I was smelling, so it smelled strong. So I think I think you might be right. Silent, silent dunk. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that one's strong. That's probably the devil's cut. No. Hmm. Maybe that little pear sweet flavor. Okay, there's two. This one seems yeah. a little stout. Oh yeah, yeah. Two is definitely devil's cut. Three, two, one. That's what I got. <clears throat> yep, that's stronger. That one's black. That one's sweet. <laughs> I think I think that's about right. Let me see if I agree with you, because number two, I'm certainly agreeing with you, is 
Devil's Cut because it, it stands head and shoulders as far as a bigger, bolder flavor. These things are more toned down, more subtle, right? Didn't quite smell like sweat today, but it doesn't seem right. Like there, <laughs> it's not a good smell. Well, Larry had mentioned that maybe it was because you don't launder your shirt, and you might have smelled a bit like. Yeah, you know what? It's a whiskey shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it, he's dripping you, whiskey on it, and he you sweats. Wash the whiskey and it comes, out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're right on this one. I I have to agree with you on this one. Um, if I'm right, I got it off of smell alone. Yeah, I had to, I had to I had to take taste because that this one threw me completely off after I, the first smell. Well, well, tasting, and then it's so difficult to smell it afterward. Yeah, yeah, tasting increased my confidence. Mm -hmm. So I, I think this one has a, a slightly different flavor, in that like you said, like the the fruity flavor, more like a a pear or an apple flavor in there. Mm -hmm. And I think that's because it's not a bourbon, right? No, it's sweet. It smells sweet. It is, but it could be like a corn whiskey or more corn because they've done something different where it can't be considered a bourbon or they'd call it a bourbon most likely. So they've they've changed the mash bill in such a way that it's not a bourbon. I mean, it could be that they aged it in non-charred barrels or something. I don't know. But these these two seem to have a more similar, a little bit more robust All right. Let's on, see what we got so here. So we got the same here? We're, we're, we do. All right. I had to agree we're with you on that agreement. one. agreement. One is Devil's Cut. Shoot. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the one that we were so sure about Wrong. and that smelled like sweat slightly, like not as much as before, but a little bit. Two, of course, never sweat. And three is Ace is High. Well, see, this is why I make those predictions so everybody can laugh at how wrong I was. Oh, yeah. Devil's Cut will stand up, and that's the one we get wrong. And then the Ace is High is the one that we... I literally can't smell anything out of that bottle. So this is two, which is never sweat. So this is Devil's? One is Devil's Cut, yeah. Oh my god, I think it is. <laughs> all right, flavors are all made up and they're all in your head. <laughs> Whiskey is subjective and it depends on how you taste it, which is why I, I thought it would be so much fun to put this in the mix after his wonderful reaction. And we had a good reaction to Devil's Cut. So considering he swapped those two, depending on the situation and scenario, you can't I mean, really smell out of the bottle too well. No. That's why we need the glasses, right? To help. Yeah, I guess so. But this this kind of goes to show experiment. you, you know, if we change things up, but that's, that's, I don't know, this is more fun to do. <laughs> Just to watch us flounder. All right. Um, can't believe we got took on that one. Oh, man, I can. Well, definitely nailed this one because that one stood out. But it, It's crazy, too. Yeah. I, I thought Devil's Cut was going to stand up, but I guess it's the bourbons that stand apart from the... American whiskeys. Hmm. But, <clears throat> all right, this is kind of cool because you can kind of uh, help identify a smell. Yes. Because, like, now that I'm smelling this and thinking of the Devil's Cut compared to that smell and this one. Mm hmm. Like, I think I can. <laughs> Here I go again. <laughs> <laughs> but you, I don't know. It... All right. My brain thinks that it can smell the the oak barrel more in this one now. Yeah. <laughs> it's Whether it's true or not, I don't know. That's, but that's what happens. I feel like it's what's going yep. on now. Yep. I still don't know what's going on with this one. But considering you mixed them up, you know, I have to imagine that the initial reaction you had is was a little 
maybe subjective based on the jokes we were making about it. Yeah, well, like I said, it didn't smell like sweat, sweat today. today <laughs> was, of course, I was smelling this one. No, it doesn't. Oh, there you go. Well, right, consider the, the more I taste these, the more the, the different the differences taste. show up. Yeah, yeah. Um, which brings me to actually a consideration uh, before we end out this episode is what should we do? You know, we, we keep mentioning like, ah, oh, you know, when we get done with our hundred whiskeys, we'll we'll just move on to hundred and fifty or two hundred whiskeys or a thousand, right? Like, we'll just keep trying more whiskeys, right? But should we not start? like a different kind of segment like we right now we just do our tastings and then do our blind tastings right what if we were to do something different like a side-by-side -side comparison between whiskeys trying to pick apart things like that um i don't know i thought i would pose the question on camera so that way the uh few viewers we do have that watch every episode can chime in and let us know so if you have any ideas of uh of where we'll go with the show. I mean, we still got, what, 45 more whiskeys to go or something like that. 40 more whiskeys. <laughs> that sounds like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Until you consider we're already 55 into it or 60 into well, it. Well, I think I started the show knowing what three of them tasted like, and then I didn't even really know what they tasted like. Yeah. I found out. <laughs> yeah, you're like, wait a minute. I thought those were good. Well, and I, and I we have found that... Good. <laughs> I was like whiskey. Yeah. We That's we gross. have found out that you are a Scotch guy. Scotch when it comes guy. to Isla Scotch, which actually gives us, uh, you know, for next week we're gonna bring in another Isla Scotch for you. I think. Let's go. Actually, no, not an Isla Scotch next week. A blended one because we wanna we wanna work into that other Isla one because it'll be curious. I want I want to see how he likes it. Okay, let's all dump right. all this off the table and go and then hurry up for next week. All right, uh, so cheers. Join us next week.